good morning friends welcome back to we student blog in this video in this uh, BMA horizon uh, series uh, uh, we are looking at app volumes and uh, this is the video for updating an existing package so though it is an uh, video for updating exi pack existing package I will be showing uh, deploying a package and uh, then uh, uh, next step is like we will be working on uh, updating a package so let's go to our lab so <coughs> this is my app volume uh, console manager console uh, app all is my server name and uh, this is my vcenter that is 6.7 I have an uh, uh, packaging VM and uh, this is my uh, Windows 10 uh, VM uh, from which I will be uh, I have created a floating pool so and uh, that floating pool is using a uh, golden template image uh, you see here uh, this is the uh, sorry actually not this one yeah uh, so hold on I'm a little bit confused so if I go here snapshot minus snapshot so this is the uh, image uh, it is using uh, VM app all is the image used by the uh, floating pool and uh, this is my package VM <coughs> this is my ASXA box uh, which is on uh, 6.7 uh, which is having 8 cores and uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, somewhat uh, 8, 16 GB of memory uh, so 24 GB of memory and uh, this is little bit about my existing environment and uh, this is my CS server that is connection server uh, uh, in which uh, this is our uh, desktop pool which we have created and now it is disabled for now uh, once I uh, deploy the package and stuff I will enable it so that uh, it will create the new image uh, new VMs uh, new VDIs so as as I told a snapshot uh, path is a uh, golden images uh, VM map volume there is a snapshot we have seen and this is the v VM name uh, which we uh, it is using in the backend so uh, so this is about little bit overview and uh, now we will go to our uh, uh, app volume manager so like uh, we already discussed about all the tabs here so we'll be looking at uh, looking at or working at app applications and packages so I already have an uh, application deployed that is Fire Firefox which we have see seen in our previous video so my package VM is this one and IP is this one let me already put this so So we log into this uh, before we proceeding before we proceed for our package deployment. So just give me one second. So we have logged into the server. Uh, sorry, uh, desktop uh, packaging desktop, and uh, I ha I already copied the required. Uh, uh, installers in the in the path like uh, app all C stem temp I don't want to keep the uh, <coughs> I don't want to keep the application uh, installers uh, on the on the packaging VM that is the reason I put it here so we are ready to go now so let's go to app volume manager create a application along with package so I will name it as uh, VLC now uh, like We'll be deploying VLC old version and after that we'll be upgrading it uh, to the latest version. I will just give VLC VLC and just create it. So these are already we seen in our previous video but uh, just I want to show it uh, from basic uh, uh, from step one for this. Uh, so uh, nothing here just click on create then it will ask to perform it background or wait for completion and I will select uh, perform in the background so this is uh, in progress I will just uh, refresh it and if you see here it's showing as unpackaged so I will click on package to deploy the uh, 
uh, like capture the package but uh, before that we need to select the VM which is available that is our VM package uh, which is available select that one and click on package and click start packaging and once you have done this You'll be able to see a pop-up here like showing as a, a packaging please install application once that is done then only click OK so if you if before installing the package if you click OK it won't capture the packages so make sure that everything is done then only go for it so I have two versions of VLC here that is 3.0.9.2 and 3.0.16 we'll go for 3.0.9.2 now so right click run as administrator and close this one for now run yes so just we'll wait it get installed just select all next next finish it is simple to install so installation is in progress so I will just pause the video okay installation is done click finish so it will pop up uh, the uh, like VLC just close it you don't need to open it but I just opened it so once everything is done installation is done application is done click OK uh, installation completed yes it is completed click yes and uh, it will uh, show the finalized package and uh, click finalize if you want to add any note you can add it and it will ask for reboot just click OK now it is getting rebooted you need to wait uh, till it's completely reboot and again it will come up after that it will, uh, it will uh, clean up everything uh, left over so it will unlock the VM and uh, release the VMDK which is uh, uh, which was uh, attached in the back end so let's see what's going on so it's coming up so I will just pause the video ok VM is up now and you are able to see that uh, pop-up is coming up so packing packaging successful so please revert back snapshot or anything then we click ok now it's done so we'll just uh, turn off this VM and uh, restore the snapshot for uh, uh, like uh, for our next step so we'll go to our mm, app volume and if you see here the package is deployed and uh, it's ready so we need to assign the package to the user so we have a, a group end users group where uh, we'll have assign this package so whoever uh, the members of this group uh, whenever they log in uh, so they will they'll be able to see the VLC so this part is done now we have assigned it and the package is there everything is ready now so if you go here see here if you can see that version is uh, 3.0.9.2 details are available here location program operating system everything uh, you can set it as current okay so uh, now it is set as current now so if everything is ready now we will go to our connection server and uh, we'll make it enable so that VM provisioning will happen so it will take some time so obviously I will pause the video and we'll come back okay <coughs> oh I'm just logging to one of my VDI so we'll wait and see whether our package deployment is successful or not okay we are logged into our VDI and I'm able to see VLC VDI player is installed uh, let's uh, open the application and see so it's opening so everything looks fine uh, so yep then we'll go for upgrade so let me log off this one sign out so go back to our app volume so my package VM already I restored it a snapshot was restored so let me turn it back again power on meanwhile 
while it's getting powered on I will go to my VLC uh, package and if you see here we have a couple of options like uh, update uh, un unset current and all stuff so for next version we will going to click on update so update name like uh, I will put it as VLC update and uh, click update so it will say that uh, perform the background I'm okay for that and when you go to like uh, when you see here it's showing as um, it's creating so once this is uh, uh, once the VM is up uh, we'll go and click on package so that uh, the uh, installation like a uh, packaging process will start on the on the packaging VM so let me pause the video so my packaging VM is up now so we'll go to our app volume manager and uh, go to the VLC update and click on uh, package so again you need to select the packaging VM which is available and this is the one package VM and click package start packaging in the background go to the our packaging VM and uh, wait for some time okay now it's pop pop up packaging and uh, please install the application uh, once it is done click only once it is done click only May just remember that so what we'll do is now uh, we are able to see the old VLC which is already there so I'm going to install the installer update the new ex new one so that is 9.16.0.16 sorry 3.16.3.0.16 uh, before that we'll check what version we have installed before so that is 3.0.9.2 so now we will install this one so very simple step next next finish and you are able to see the upgrade the previous version it's in progress now installation is completed click finish so if everything is completed just open this and see if it is uh, updated or not and we are able to see 3.0.16 which is latest one click co close and uh, so it's packaging is completed just click ok yes we are done and uh, yeah finalize you can put some notes everything is done reboot the VM now so you able to see that uh, icon gone because it is uh, uh, like uh, unmounting the VMDK which is attached click to restart so it is getting restarted so we don't require it anymore so we'll go to our app man app volumes manager and uh, if you see here packages now it is done so yeah actually it has to be rebooted so rebooted and uh, it will say that uh, cleanup is done and everything is right fine till uh, the last step is done you will be able to see that still it is uh, it disabled and uh, you won't see the status changed from package to uh, package to completed so let's wait so my packaging VM is up now and uh, you are able to see the final step that is uh, packing packaging is successful click OK uh, now if you go to app volume managers uh, and just refresh it so it's ready now you can see the status enabled <coughs> so anyhow we will take down this VM and we'll make this one as a set current and if you see here old VLC is now it's uh, it's not current uh, the one which is updated that latest one is a uh, is a current now Okay, I'm logging to my VGI now to validate whether my update is successful or not. So, <coughs> so we have logged into it successfully, and you are able to see that my VLC is already. Uh, 
deployed here so let's try to open this VLC and see the version you see the version it should be 3.0.16 and we are able to see it so if you go to our app volume manager we are able to see we have uh, ex uh, old uh, old uh, application as well uh, you can delete it later or you can retire it so if you go to application you can see VLC uh, so this is the current one so uh, this is the process we follow to uh, 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 like a, a package a, a latest version on the existing uh, uh, on the old version of application so I believe this uh, video is informative for you guys uh, please do subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos any suggestions and queries please please reach out to me on vstudentblog at gmail.com so I'm planning to uh, do some uh, on other sessions on other technologies uh, in uh, in coming near future uh, like uh, Zerito uh, Zerito to like uh, you know right uh, migrating a virtual machine from on-prem to cloud azure cloud how you will do like what is the tool we'll use what is the process all stuff and even if you have two data centers uh, in a different locations uh, for example one is in uh, california uh, and one is in uh, seattle so california data center is getting uh, decommissioned so in that case uh, you need to move the existing vms to the seattle uh, data center what v center in that uh, in that scenario like uh, using the zelto tool how we are going to migrate the vms without any downtime without any uh, major downtime so how they will replicate all stuff we can see using we can we can we can do that using zelto zelto replication tool uh, migration tool and uh, apart from that uh, we have plans to do trainings on uh, nutanix uh, Nutanix uh, hardware and Nutanix uh, uh, what is Nutanix and why we'll use Nutanix, all stuff we'll be discussing so I have plans to do that so please do subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos uh, thanks for watching my videos thank you bye bye